Hey, it's me, MLV. Here's chapter 111, and this one's titled Tracker Disabled. They've really got eyes on you at all times, huh? You mused. Word would have spread by now that you've defected, Tamajiki said. We'll need to move out before guards are sent here to look for you. Where are we going to go? They'll know where I am because of my emblem, Praetorian replied. You all thought for a bit, then Tamajiki spoke again. The teleportation pad. Come with us to level 44, but stay on the pad. Why stay on the pad? You asked your man as you made plans to leave. The levels are all connected via the teleportation pads. They'll all merge together and be hard to tell which pad Praetorian is on. Once we get back into our normal avatars, you'll be able to make a silencer of sorts to cancel out the tracking emblem. Ah, I see, you mused. So, how do I make that? Should I use pure diamond, or should I use some other graphite type? I'd use pure diamond, we don't want any conductivity, Tamajiki said, talking knowingly with you while Praetorian followed along behind. They really seem to know what they're talking about, he thought, feeling a little more confident about it all. You and Tamajiki chatted as you walked, figuring out your next moves as you walked to the platform and waited for Praetorian to join you on it. I'll have to go home to get my headset, he said to Tamajiki. You start in Butterfly ahead of me and I'll catch up. Okay, he replied with a nod. I'm not expecting anyone to find us on level 44, but I'll stay with Praetorian while you make your way back as on. Okay, I'll be quick, he said. Level 44, Tamajiki called, whisking you all the way to the level called. Once up on level 44, you and Tamajiki ran to the track that would lead to your house while Praetorian sat down and waited on the teleportation pad. Twenty minutes later, he was still sitting idly, watching two flying bison lazily drifting across the sky, occasionally navigating around floating islands, when Tamajiki, as Butterfly, returned. Oh, Praetorian said, getting up quickly and holding his hand out to shake Butterfly's hand. I, this feels like an honour to meet you, even though I've known you and your other avatar. It's nice to be back in my usual form, Butterfly replied with a small smile pushing his hood off so he could see Praetorian better. On and I live on this level. Our house is up on a floating island. This is a very nice secluded level, Praetorian said, looking around. It's been very nice to sit here and just be. Butterfly nodded. On will be here soon and we'll try and create some kind of tracking disabler so that you won't be traced. Then we'll take you to our place. I did hear you discussing options of how to do this with On but I didn't quite understand what was being said, he said sheepishly. That's fine. She's the one with all the knowledge. I'll let her explain it when she's done doing her work. As he said it, you came into view, puffing as you ran down the last of the track and stopping in front of them. I'm here, you panted, holding a hand of attendants up so that they could see you, even though you were right in front of them. Okay, let's get to work. I'll put pure diamond from that lump you gave me a while back from the crystal level, you spoke to Butterfly. Praetorian looked from Butterfly to you as he nodded in reply to your words. The bat on that level was hard, Butterfly said. I'm sure you have more experience than I, so I'll take your word for it, Praetorian said with a shrug. The only thing I'm unsure of is if I need to make the diamond band around the arm to block the tracker or will it need to go in the inventory to disable the emblem? You furrowed your brow and thought long and hard before opening your inventory and pulling out your workbench to start making the armband. It didn't take you long to measure Praetorian's rather large bicep muscle that had the BB emblem on it. Then you got to work fashioning a diamond link that would fit snugly around his arm. He watched with fascination as he worked and in a matter of minutes you had it created and then slipped neatly onto his arm. Now, how do we know if it worked? You asked Butterfly. I know, he said quickly. Praetorian, contract me again and I'll see if it drops your location. It would do that when we were contracted so that we knew where each other was at all times. He nodded and contracted Butterfly, then waited as Butterfly stepped away and looked at the log. It still shows your location, he said with disappointment. Try putting the cuff in your inventory and it might block it that way since it will be made into a code. My emblem also shows up as an item in my inventory, so that just might work. Praetorian replied. Eagerly he slipped the cuff off and placed it in his inventory and then closed the menu down and looked at Butterfly. 
Your man was watching the log, but all of a sudden the signal was blocked and all it said was Praetorian was offline. It worked, he said with shining eyes, looking at you lovingly. You did it on? I did? He said with excitement. Oh my god, yay! Okay, awesome. Let's go to the house, then we can hide you, Praetorian. And with that, Praetorian uncontracted butterfly, and you all headed up to the house on the floating island, stopping frequently to let Praetorian take in the view. Although he was a big guy, he seemed to be really interested in the view and was an avid commenter on the colours in the sky. Once safely inside the house, you all sat down to coordinate your next meeting in-game and set it for the following day at 4pm, your and Butterfly's usual time. Thank you for hiding me, Praetorian said with a genuinely grateful smile. I do hope I can be helpful and not cause any more trouble. We'll be fine, he said reassuringly. You're on our side, so believe it's when we say we'll keep you safe. I believe you, and I'll also risk all helping you bring the BB group undone. It's about time the person at the top was brought down a few rungs. And there ends chapter 111. Stay tuned for chapter 112.